Yourself? Yes. Oh, now? Oh. Hi, I'm Boots Electric from the Eagles of Death Metal. Is Boots. it a non smoking website? No, you can do anything you want. You can say anything you want, too. Cool. You can use all of the, the, the FCC band. Oh, words. excellent. This one's for everyone who's ever been in jail. Stone walls and steel bars, love on my mind. I'm a three. Cowboy spiritual right there. It's not really spiritual, but it's very spiritual when you're about to get, you know, raped executed jail. or raped to death in jail. In jail. <laughs> what would be worth uh, a worse, a, a, like a, like a, a death raping a death or raping or, or, or uh, is that even a question? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like a like a like a you know, well, shot. You, get, you can do the, the you know, You're the getting deeply shit. penetrated to death. To death. Uh, by it depends if it's two hot dudes or an entire pack. Whatever has happened in my day, if I'm writing a song, that's what I write about. Something special or something absolutely not special mm -hmm. that wants to be made special. When everyone is, is hell-bent or obsessed with talking about some negative aspect of it or the requiem aspect of it or, or whatever, it's morbid. You can't become obsessed with the death of anything because Detroit's not dead. It's simply going through a flux. Anytime there's any sort of explosion of magic, which is what I call rock, rock and roll, that spawns so much shit, so many uh, uh, imitators, it will never not be viable. And if you ignore it, it's like, uh, you know, Jesus left Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. That doesn't make it unimportant. <laughs> Axl Rose made my career in a lot of ways because somewhere along the line, the God, okay, here's what I think about Guns N' Roses. This, this requires a little explanation. First of all, Appetite for Destruction is hands down one of the single greatest rock albums ever released, ever, of all time. And at that time, Guns N' Roses as a band was one of the most dangerous, real, amazing rock bands, probably one of the last. Now, all the other boys in the band remained in the pantheon of rock and roll, so to speak. The gods of rock loved them. Axel, on the other hand, was kicked out, and he sent me as the messenger to make him aware of that, unbeknownst to me. So we showed up, I think it was in Minnesota, at a 25,000 seat arena with only 5,000 kids there and not a drop of rain as a reason why they wouldn't show up. And uh, the Suicide Girls went on before us and they got booed. And I'm thinking, I'm at a fucking rock show and naked chicks are getting booed off the stage. Where the fuck am I? Is this communist? Is where we in Russia? Did I wake up in the fucking Soviet Union? What the fuck is going on here, dude? And uh, we went on. It, not a single kid in that crowd was even born when Appetite for Destruction came out. So it was kind of weird. But, you know, we went on, we had a decent show, and then uh, about an hour late, Axel showed up. And when he went on, two songs into his set, he said, what did you think of the Pigeons of Shit Metal, 
well, you better feel sorry for them little fellers because it's their last night on the tour. And for like one second, I was like, how dare he? But then for the rest of it, it was like, oh my God, an asshole doesn't like me. That's awesome. I mean, if Adolf Hitler wrote me a letter that said I sucked, it'd be like winning the fucking Nobel Peace Prize. You know what I mean? That makes sense. So when this giant communist twinkle-toed cocksucker decided that I sucked, it's like a badge of honor. And so I got pigeons of shit metal tattooed on my arm. Can we get a shot of that? Yeah. <laughs> and that mosquito. The pigeon's even shitting on me if you look closely. Yeah. I'm getting two dudes sucking each other's dicks as hard as they can on my back, like facing each other, mm -hmm. and these like giant throbbing blue-headed dicks like this. It's gonna be really awesome. As I'm working out, like at the at the Venice Beach gym, I'll have these two dudes on my back with these two purple head cocks, and as I lift my weights, it looks like they're going. Blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be awesome. Are you recording anything new right now? Are you working I'm on anything? I'm making a record right now. Fabulous with money, weapon. Mark. Fabulous. It's, yeah, but I'm gonna call it Boots Electric. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna call it Honky Kong. Really? Like Honky Donkey Kong, but a white dude. Honky Kong. Like Honky. an albino gorilla getting down. It sounds like Gary Newman raping Frankie Valli in the small intestine of Keith Richards. Okay. Can we, that, I want to know what that sounds like. I really, I really do. I'll play um, it for you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we thank you. And, and with some things, it's like, don't rape me. I just took a roof and all, and don't you dare everyone in this room rape me when I'm unconscious because I'll be so angry. With this. I'm sorry, I don't even know what that means. Oh, well. Everybody else will have to figure that out. <laughs>